Former President Trump made several more claims about the case against him in that speech at Mar-a-Lago. We've been working on fact-checking that speech. Paul Spay will explain what he found about them ahead. Welcome back. You're looking live in Beaufort. Look at the boat just floating on by. Having a great afternoon this Wednesday. You're also watching WRAL News, available on Hulu, YouTube TV, Spectrum, and the WRAL app on your TV or streaming device. Hours after sitting in a Manhattan courtroom faced with a 34-count felony indictment, former President Donald Trump returned home to Florida last night. And that's where he gave a speech about the case. Paul Spay checks some of his claims for PolitiFact. <laughs> What is Donald Trump saying about his indictment? Well, first off, that the judge hates him. And this is just one of the things Trump said from a ballroom stage in Mar-a-Lago last night. He's talking about Judge Juan Merchan, who's presiding over the case. Merchan and Trump, they do have a history. The same judge presided over a case last year when a jury found the Trump organization guilty of a criminal tax fraud scheme. Its chief financial officer was later sentenced to five months in prison. Now, this is not... Ooh, his chief financial officer sent into five months in prison for crimes. Yeah, so you know Trump. Trump is connected to all of this, and it's just a, it's just about time that you know he was actually punished for his crimes. Proof Merchan hates Trump, and it doesn't mean he needs to recuse himself either. Judicial experts say judges often try and even retry the same people or same groups. Now, what about this next one? Trump said the local prosecutor is backed by liberal mega donor George Soros. This is just a uh, anti-Semitic uh, talking point that right-wingers love to use. Oh, George Soros is funding this and funding that. He's doing this, he's doing that. And it's because the dude is Jewish, so they want to, you know, try to point out that, you know, Jewish people are controlling everything. He's talking about prosecutor Alvin Bragg, who is endorsed by the group Color of Change. It's a PAC. Soros did donate a million dollars to the group, as you can see from records here. But the group says this particular donation was not earmarked for Bragg's campaign. Now, Trump otherwise avoided making specific claims about this case, pivoting to other investigations instead and saying, hey, that seizure of documents at his home, he said U.S. law allows him to negotiate with the National Archives Administration over which documents he gets to keep. That's not true. The Presidential Records Act says the archive is supposed to take full custody of records at the end of every president's term. And this isn't all. We've got a full roundup of Trump's claims in our story at WRL.com.